Hey everybody, it's been a little while since I've done an unboxing, but this is an unboxing for Caper Europe, which is a follow-up to, and the, <coughs> this is an unboxing for Caper Europe, which is the follow-up, I guess, and um, re-implementation of the game Caper by uh, Keymaster Games, I believe. Um, so it actually even has some fun um, packaging out here. They didn't have to do that, but they did. It says top secret heist materials inside and has the logo and all that. So let's go ahead and get right down to it. Looking forward to seeing what's inside of this one. So here, I guess I got the postcard set. I don't remember doing that. So we'll go ahead and take a look at these. Um, maybe I'll send these out to some people. But, yeah, let's see what these postcards are. And maybe it was with just with the level I got, no matter what. I don't, I really I don't remember a lot about this. Uh, that's a great thing about Kickstarter sometimes, right, is that you get something uh, later on. The Louvre, Coliseum, Eiffel Tower. Maybe I'll just turn these into a poster. La Rambla. My Ute. That's a Petla. La Rouge, the Sagrada Familia, oh, Big Ben, Notre Dame. So yeah, these are cool. Lots of nice art in here. Oxford Street, Trevi Fountain, Piccadilly Circus, La Barcelona, Versailles, the Vatican, British Museum, Trust of Air, Pantheon, and the Tower of London. Cool. All right, so that's all in there. And it looks like, I don't, I don't think I got little coins or anything. I, I didn't take that little, so yeah. So it's like Keymaster Games. Uh, this is the Mastermind Edition. And um, the game is by Unai uh, Rubio, it looks like. And nice packaging on the front. And I'm going to try to do this without destroying the box here. All right, there we go. See that nice gold leaf. Looks fun. I don't know that I will use this very much. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it would look pretty on the shelf, but if I take it to play anywhere, it's kind of useless. So uh, all that fun artwork there. There we go. Caper Europe, uh, published by Keymaster and uh, designed by Unai Rubio. Mastermind Edition. Society of Scoundrels, membership number, and there we have, it's number 5752 out of 7,515. Uh, 7, cool. Did a thief steal your reading glasses? Watch how to play keepereurope.com. Maybe I did get metal coins. I don't, I don't remember. May, it might have just made sense to the time. Oh, nice rule book, nice uh, layout to that. Some good examples. It looks very simple to play. I, I played the previous one one time, but I loved the artwork on this one. Set effects, so forth. Burning cards. Locations, how to win them. Gear turn examples. Great, great looking rule book. We'll dig into this later on. Cities of Keeper, Europe. Uh, Paris, Barcelona, Rome, and London. And quick start guide with this is just a very nice, uh, very nice uh, rule book. And I love the insert here. Oh no, mine got broken some, that's fine. Uh, I mean, plastic gets brittle eventually, right? So, oh well, that's okay. Not a big deal. Uh, Cause this is, this is nice in here. There's these tokens here. And uh, let's see, open it right up. So you got three of these, and then this gold kind of uh, one here. Let's see if I can show that one off. Okay, there's that. And uh, let's come back to it. So there are metal coins in this one. This is, yeah, okay. So that on one side it says, uh, one scoundrel on the other side it says 
Corvus, Oculum, Corvi, Non, uh, Erut, with a little, uh, I think it's a, a Corvid on there. I, I can't quite tell, maybe a Falcon. It's hard, it's hard to see. There you go. Okay, there are those. Metal coin. Unnecessary, but I guess I got them. Uh, there's tokens. It's kind of like a, a velour type thing in here. Let's take a look at the cards. And then we'll go. this is uh, score sheets. Okay. Come back to the cards though. Player aids, gaining coin, icons, stolen goods, the uh, board here. Pretty long. I thought it would be actually be slightly smaller, but it's pretty long. It's nice. And then have all that art on the back. That's fun. Okay. Uh, we'll put the player aids over here and take a look at some cards. And there's cards in four colors, and this is a two to four player game if I remember right. Uh, doesn't say there, doesn't say there. It is, let's see, uh, two players, ages 10 and up, 25 to 35 minutes. Um, yeah, I think it's two to four. So, some cards, and locations. Shakedown belt, post of Segreto, vehicle, the driver, the Don, and the Soprano. Okay, so that's one set of cards there. I'll, I'll go back and show those three. The Soprano, the Don, and the driver. Because the artwork is half the fun in this game. That's not fair. I haven't even played this one yet, so I, I shouldn't say that, although I, I know it will play somewhat similar to the original. Uh, and here we have orange. And Barcelona. And same artwork that was on the um, postcards, just smaller. And here you go, Mesmerizer. That's cool. That's fun artwork. The Espadrilla of Escape. And then we have the Anarchist, the Pickpocket, and the Surrealist. Salvador Dali's son, grandson, I don't know. Maybe it's Dali himself. Um, maybe just some other Surrealist from Barcelona. All right, and here we have a, it's kind of a dark green. Uh, this is London, and British Museum. Same, again, same artwork, but here now we have the Speed Machine Laundromat, Matic, and then that's all that. And then we have the Signal Jammer, Contraband Hollow Book, The Bookie, The Boxer, and the Royal. And finally, this baby blue, Robin eggshell blue. Let's see what's in here. Static electricity, so that's all sticking in. And this is Paris, Paris, Eiffel Tower, Louvre, Moulin Rouge, so forth. Uh, so we have top secret plans. The Aqua Respirator, the Optique Secret Shades, the Madame, the Chef, that's hilarious, and the Artiste. All right, so that's all those cards. And then we have this big deck of cards here. I don't think there's anything underneath. We'll check real quick. Uh, oh, well, there's artwork. That's fun. Um, so there's artwork. And this one does have an actual pull on this deck, but I don't know if I can get it, so I'm just gonna go like that. And in here, 
we have uh, this white deck of cards, which has a different character, I believe. Yep. Mind the name, the banker, colonel, conductor, actress, gentleman, cleaner, illusionist, auctioneer, tourist, saint, smuggler, barber, and bon vivant. Life of the party. The good life. All right. And here, the green cards. Let's see here. The green cards are all these. Grappling gun, helping hand, suction scaler, skeleton key, stealth suit, briefcase bot with the false bottom, magneto, which of those, uh, safe cracker plasma cutter, eavesdropper, that's fun. Uh, simple disguise and incognito tuxedo, smoke screen, false documents, blaze blaster. In case you need that, and there's that. And then finally, these uh, locations antique shop, art gallery, the bank, casino, chapel. The gala, museum, and yacht. So my question is, um, so those are core locations. Um, so there's core locations, thieves, uh, thieves, and the gear. That's what we just looked at. Okay. Um, well, that's a game. Everything looks pretty good, easy setup. We'll be playing that tonight, using that as one of the games that we play as a uh, uh, family for New Year's. Uh, it's not quite New Year's, but tomorrow's New Year's Eve. So, hope you enjoyed watching that. It's uh, Caper by Unai Rubio from uh, Caper Europe, Mastermind Edition from Keymaster Games. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Happy gaming.